The latest evidence actually points out that small-scale Homo sapiens immigrations into Neanderthal populations providing recurrent gene mixing could have led to almost complete genetic substitution over about 10,000 to 30,000 years. The latest study is actually a mathematical model. It is grounded in neutral species drift, which doesn't require selective advantage or some catastrophic event, but shows that sustained gene flow from a demographically larger species could account for Neanderthals' genetic absorption into modern humans within a time frame, which is actually consistent with the archaeological evidence as well. This also aligns with growing evidence of interbreeding and genetic introgression through recurrent Homo sapiens immigration waves, explaining patterns of Neanderthal ancestry in present day Eurasian populations. Now, this is not to say that other factors did not play a part in the story, but genetic admixture is likely the key to their disappearance. Interbreeding led to a substantial gene flow between Neanderthals and modern humans, and nowadays modern humans still retain a, let's say, considerable amount of Neanderthal genetic material, about 2% in some population groups, even 4%. The recent analysis comparing present human genomes with available Neanderthal ones have provided evidence of admixture as early as 200,000 years ago. So this means that sapiens migrated into some of the Neanderthal settlements on multiple occasions. And uh, yeah, we got busy with them. We had uh, interbreeding events. And um, although some of them stem from now extinct lineages, they might have initiated a long-term process of genetic exchange later very much amplified during our main expansion out of Africa.